Yo, what's your guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty funny one, a pretty interesting one. It's about somebody that I told a story time about, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something. And before I jump into it, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 3 million subscribers. Like, I don't even know how to properly thank you guys for that. I feel like there's really no way I can pay you guys back for how much my life has changed because of all y'all watching my videos. So I really appreciate you guys more than you know. I know a million YouTubers a day are like, oh, I love my fans so much, you guys changed my life. And I'm sure a lot of them mean it. Some of them maybe don't. But I really mean it when I say, like, I love y'all. Thank you so much. And y'all really did change my life for the better. Like, I was not in a good place before I did YouTube. Not at all. I mean, I had a million anxiety problems. I still do. But I have a lot less of them because of you guys and the support you've given me. So thank you so much. But anyway, guys, today's story time is a pretty interesting one. I think you guys will enjoy it. And let's jump right into it. So today's story time all takes place today. Yes, today. Now two or three weeks ago, I uploaded a video about how I was dating a P-O-R-N star. I can't say the full word because YouTube might be like, oh, I'm going to demonetize you, buddy. So yeah, since I don't want to get demonetized, I'm just going to have to say the word P-star instead of, you know, the other word. But yeah, I uploaded a story time a couple weeks back about how I was dating a P-star and about how um, she was pretty cool and asked me to be in a video at one point. And it was just like a funny story time and people seemed to really enjoy it. And I thought she would enjoy it because she seemed really chill about that type of stuff. But after I uploaded the video, she didn't enjoy it. I checked her Twitter and she unfollowed me. So I knew that she kind of was not happy with me. But I also didn't want to like, you know, reach out and piss her off even more. So I just let it be. I didn't reach out to her at all. I figured like I'll give it a couple weeks and let her calm down. And then I'll reach out. So a couple weeks has gone by, right? And no joke, today was the day where I was going to DM her and be like, hey, like, are we good? And... The timing was just fucking immaculate. It was just perfect. I wake up today. All starts off as a normal day. I get up out of bed. I take a shower. And I think to myself, what do I have to do today? I was like, okay, today I have to make a video. I want to record some gameplay. I've been reading your guys' comments. People want more CS gameplay and stuff. So I'm going to get some more of that. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, what else do I have to do? And then it enters my head. Oh, yeah, I'm going to DM that girl and see if she's still mad at me about the video I made. So I take a shower. I get out of the shower. I start working on my video for today. And then literally, like midway through it, I was halfway through recording a completely different video today, I get a knock on my front door. And whenever I get a knock on my front door, you guys know by now, it's usually not something good. Usually it's someone, you know, that doesn't like me or doesn't like my videos, who somehow tracked me down like a fucking stalker and wants to tell me how much they hate me. So sadly, she didn't knock on the door while I was recording. It was while I was taking a break and editing something. So I get a knock on my door, I stand up, I walk up to the front door, I peek through the window, and I can see on my porch none other than my ex standing there. And not the TikTok girl, not the, you know, other exes that I've talked about, the ex who just so happens to be a P-O-R-N star on uh, the website we all know and love. So I open the door, and she looks fucking pissed. Like, she looks angry at me, like, real mad. And I was like, hey, what's up? Why, why are you here? And she's like, uh, I think you know why I'm here, Austin. I was like, no, honestly, I really don't. And she goes, really? Because I unfollowed you on everything. I haven't talked to you. Why do you think I'm here? She was treating me like I was a fucking preschooler. She was like spelling it out mad obvious. And I knew what the answer was. I just didn't want to say it. But I was like, I'm guessing you're mad at me about my YouTube video. And she's like, yeah, I'm fucking pissed. I was like, why? Like, you upload videos on the internet for a living, too. Like, I think you understand what I do. And she was like, I understand what you do, but I didn't give you permission to make a video about me and our date and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I understand. But, like, I didn't say your name or anything about you. Like, none of that could lead back to you. And she's like, yeah, that's the fucking problem. You didn't shout me out. You didn't give me any kind of credit. Like, where was my credit? I was like, credit for what? And she was like, for, I don't know, being in your video? Why didn't you promote my, like, OnlyFans and shit? And I was like, wait, are you serious? You're mad at me because I didn't give you a shout-out to your OnlyFans? And she was like, yeah, I'm fucking mad. Now, on one hand, I could kind of understand why she was upset and didn't get any, like, you know, shout-out or anything. But on the other hand, I always have to play it safe and not give out anyone's information because usually that would piss them off. So I was just playing it safe. So I told her that. I was like, hey, I wasn't trying to, like, do any, you know wrongdoing towards you i just literally didn't think you would want that and she's like yeah well i do so you have a choice you can either delete that video and re-upload it with a shout out at the end or shout me out in your next video and i won't strike that shit down and i was like are you threatening me i couldn't even believe this this girl was usually so chill but she completely flipped a switch she was acting crazy i was like so you're threatening me if i don't shout out your fucking only fans you're gonna strike my video down by the way you can't do that there's nothing legally wrong with it 
And she smiles with the most devious smile. And she goes, there doesn't have to be. I have friends in low places. And she wasn't lying, okay? I've heard about people that do OnlyFans. And they have some people, they have like copyright teams that just get anything deleted off the internet that involves them that's copyright. Like, because people repost their photos and shit on Reddit, so they delete them. But that means she could use that copyright team to get me wrongfully deleted. So yeah, after she says this, I was like, look, I'm not going to upload a video shouting you out because you're threatening me to do it. If you came here and you were nicely like, hey, can you shout me out in your next video because, you know, I want that? I'd be like, hell yeah, like, you're mad cool, of course I will. But instead, you're threatening me to get my shit deleted and give me a strike on my channel, which could also get my channel deleted, in order to get a shout out, which I don't fuck with. And she was like, yeah, well, it's your move. And she turns around and she walks off my porch, gets in her car, and drives off. And I'm like, wow, that just happened. So I go back inside and uh, I just kind of sit on my computer and watch some videos and try and not think about what just happened. And I get a DM on Twitter 15 minutes later and it word for word says, I want your channel gone. And I'm like, damn, this girl is coming from my fucking neck. So uh, now I'm here and I thought, you know what? I think she's right. I need to make another video slash story time about her. And I'm sure she's watching this expecting something at the end, like a shout out because she threatened me for one. So yeah, here comes the shout out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at twitter.com slash Luna with two A's. That's L-U-N-A-A. And Instagram.com slash only Luna. Only Luna. Kind of like only fans, but only Luna. Yeah, not only fans. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much where that ends. Honestly, I don't think she can get my stuff striked down as much as she said she could. Because I talked to one of her friends, who I'm also still cool with. And she told me that she doesn't even have a copyright team like she's saying she did. And also, I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not worried. But yeah, guys, I will keep you guys posted on the uh, angry P-Star saga. I hope it's not a saga because, honestly, I'm just trying to have a relaxing week. Last thing I need is another TikTok girl situation where someone's showing up at my front door and knocking every day, yelling at me. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the story time of how I uploaded a video about an ex of mine who was also a uh, star on P-Hub and shit. And I uh, didn't like that very much and came to my house and yelled at me and threatened me about it to get my channel deleted. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Moral of this story is, is uh, if someone shows up to your front door knocking on your door trying to threaten you, don't open the door. My dumb ass opened the door. Just call the fucking cops because I opened the door and had to just hear about how I'm a bad person for not shouting her out. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. And thank you guys for 3 million once again. I love you all so much. I will see you all later. Peace out. I was they leave me out for the dead and now they know they're falling. All my texts are on red, that's how I know she's dead.